Hi there, it is currently July 11th, 2018. We are doing a daily angel tarot card reading for uh, July 11th, 2018. And these are Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine's um, deck. So we're just gonna see what comes up here. I felt intuitively guided towards coming on here actually last night and then this morning. So you guys were really, really calling me in, I guess, to do this reading. We've got an upside down five of fire. This has actually been coming up a fair amount. So I'm hearing conscientious warrior. So being aware that we need to be aware in terms of um, when we're in fight or flight mode, we'll say. So we really want to be in rest and relaxation like mode when we're getting healing, that sort of thing. But then when we're out and say we're dealing with the public, we're, we're dealing with business, we really want to bring out that fire side, so out that warrior side, so we want to be aware that we have that within ourselves, so we really need to fight for ourselves. Um, this evening is coming up, all right? So becoming aware of that is so important. <sighs> I'm just also hearing that connecting to God or some form of source is important. But understanding that that's within yourself, it could be that somebody's struggling a little bit with connecting the heart and the solar plexus to that, meaning um, when you're hurting, it's hard for you to feel positive, but you still have to go within and understand that the energy that you're trying to put that out there is actually a feeling that you need to also feel within yourself. So then we have four of earth. Um, I'm not predicting the future. I'm just working on the here and now as well. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I very much appreciate it. So I'm hearing this could be about you denying your truth. So four of earth. Um, let go of stress. Stop stressing. That's what that card means. So we have to, again, release that tension, that sort of thing. So in, in the evening, you're going to be feeling like you just need to, like, take care of things. But then daytime, you just can't really stress about certain things. All right. And then we have justice. Number eight, Archangel Raguel. Raguel. I'm just waking up. So fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. You got to fight for your rights to love your life. I made that one up. So let's channel a message on this. Again, pay close attention to what you see, any visions, anything that really stands out for you. I'm kind of feeling like I'm connecting to a water sign right now. And I should say congratulations. You've been working really hard, that sort of thing. You may even need a vacation. Um, it could be someone that has children as well. And I feel like you're, you're really good with your kids, that sort of thing. But we still need time for ourselves to make sure that we're enjoying life's uh, simple pleasures as well. Community at work is also coming up with this card. Um, heightened sense of psychic abilities is important. Um, that's coming up. I'm hearing that it could be that you're dying to tell someone how you feel as well. So make sure that you're releasing that energy out of yourself as well. Very important. I always recommend um, writing if you can't get your words out, but just you have to get that out of you. Then we have Seven of Earth, again, going back into community energy, saying goodbye to the old. We have a brand new moon, uh, a solar eclipse tomorrow. So that is in Cancer, actually, so our water sign. So we're going to be feeling like today's our last day of releasing the old. And then we're going to be finally walking into that new energy. So I'm hearing sophisticated dreams, meaning really work on those things that you're gravitating towards, that you're feeling magnetically connected to. Um, make that your main focus and make that your main goal. Um, you know, anything can change at any given time as well, keeping that in mind. So um, that's why we do energy healings for the now rather than predicting the future. It's kind of like, where's your energy now and where are you, where are you going with that? Because even tomorrow could be a completely different day than today. And that's why I enjoy doing the dailies because I realize how powerful um, these are, how powerful the moon readings are, that sort of thing. So again, congratulations to someone out there. There's someone that really needs to hear that. Um, and again, that this is just a powerful new moon. So really working on that. Then we have ego. So um, in the morning, maybe you want to ask for that ego to be released to make sure that you're just staying within um, your own energy field and that you're remaining as positive and lighthearted as you can. We're all striving for enlightenment. So we have to feel light 
we don't want to feel heavy. So um, having a gratitude journal will also help you with this. Again, part of releasing the old, you have to be appreciative towards um, what you have already as well as uh, then creating what we want, okay? Then we have balance, Archangel Zadkiel, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. These are This is all about decision making right now. Uh, I'm kind of hearing like, I've decided this, that's something you want to put forward. I now know that blah, blah, blah. So you really want to affirm that you've decided something and then this is going to happen, that sort of energy. We don't want to hang out in any other energy other than that. Um, I'm just feeling like really positive, giving people compliments, like she's awesome, and, and that enthusiasm and encouragement. We are striving, like I said, for enlightenment, but we also need like a little pat on the back along the way. So making sure that you're helping yourself as much as you can, and then after you do that, you'll be able to help other people. Um, I'm, I'm still feeling like we're clearing uh, old energies as well in our lives. So it could be like relationships. That's what the um, Capricorn full moon was all about. So again, last day for clearing out relationships. So I hope that you enjoyed this. You can go into robinsealing.com. I'm doing a buy one, get one 50% off until the 15th as well. I'm doing a Reiki level one class on um, July 14th if you're local. And you can go on to my Robin Sealing at Robin Sealing Facebook page where I do weekly contests and you can win a free 15 minute reading. All right. You can also check me out on Instagram. Take care. Bye.